Okay. Tutorial? Borderless is what I probably want? Let me try. Let me see. There's no borderless, though. Jesus. Did that just shrink it? All right, we'll play it like that. There we go. Stretch seems to be okay. All right, tutorial. Welcome to FTL. You are the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Captain's Log, Stardate 2244-224. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You'll be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Your ship, the Kestrel, is in the focus of the typical... What? Your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. Okay. The circular icons at the bottom of the screen uh, are your ship's primary systems. These over here. Shields. Engines. Med bay. Oxygen. Weapons. All right. Systems use power from the reactor pointed at by the arrow. Okay. Unused reactor energy available to power your systems. It right. is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Josfell just gifted a sub to Allie. Thank you so much, Josfell. 37 gifted subs in the channel for Josfell. Thank you. Okay. So, this is unused reactor energy available to power my systems. Okay. They're, these are your ship's subsystems. That's under me. Okay, so these are our ship's subsystems over here. Unlike systems, they do not require power from the reactor. Okay, we got piloting, sensors, and doors. Hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information. Hey, I already beat you to it. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Oh, okay. Do they? Oh, I'll hover over the systems. Oh, I can see it's very, it's very, very uh, dim. Engines. Okay, that's over here. Med. Okay, exactly. Exactly. The hull meter. Shield level and current resources are on the top left. If your hull meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. Okay, so there's my hull. Amount of fuel, number of missiles, number of drone parts. Oh my god, there's so much UI. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered. White system boxes are unpowered and provide no benefit to the Kestrel. Left click on the engine system icon and power your will transfer from your reactor into your engines. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system if you want to reroute power. Okay. Oh no, your engine room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show it's broken. Your hull meter is also taking two damage. Your crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using a left click Select multiple crew, uh, crew members by left click and dragging. Select some crew to continue. You two, get to engineering. You two, here. You two, go now. Oh, you have to right click. Oh, 
Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen, fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Okay. Hey, Thomas, what's up? How you doing? Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Notice that repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to the last it power state. Oh, nice. A gift to the friends of the otters. Jospel, again. Thank you for gifting a sub to Miss Mio. You're awesome. You're amazing. Thank you. Gifted 38 subs in the channel. Thanks. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. The silhouette above the power bar shows that the system is manned. Okay, see this? It's manned. You get evasion plus five. Okay. Oh no, a fire is broken out in your starboard airlock. You can send your crew members to put it out, but let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left clicking on it. Rooms turn pink as the oxygen drains out. Your oxygen systems will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. Now that your engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should FTL jump to the next location. If you don't currently have a pilot, you should probably send a crewman to the helm. Each jump consumes one fuel. Okay, without fuel, you'll be stranded and unable to jump. Jumping also requires a crew member in the piloting system. Oh. Is that me? Excuse me. Hey, Alaska, what's up? Uh, each jump consumes full fuel. All right. Jumping also requires a crew member, blah, blah, blah. Click on the jump button to continue. Jump. This is your beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Left click on a connecting node to travel there now. Here. That seemed nice and far. No, no help, please. No help. Come on, I'm 10 seconds into the game. I don't need help yet. Is this 2012? Anybody that's just joining us, we just did a raffle. One claim to enter max of 10,000. And Helvetica Bold won the raffle and chose for me to play this. We gave control to the stream today. All right, every new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Okay, how do I know it's weak? Continue. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They are nearly always a good choice. I'm gonna choose this one. Welcome to combat. You can use spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game at any time to strategize, give commands or reallocate your power. Okay, try to pause the game now. <laughs> You need to power your weapon to fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box. Okay, down here. Left click on it to power it. A powered weapon turns white. Right click to depower it. Okay. Left click a powered weapon to arm it and then target a room in the enemy ship by left clicking on it. You can also use the hotkeys one to four to access your weapons. Your The weapon will fire when ready. Make sure the game is unpaused when I do. All right. So, oh, click on a powered weapon. And I want to shoot the, I don't know, the oxygen. I missed. Oh no, you sh your two-shot laser cannon cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields, but luckily he can't get through your shields either. All right, so we just go home. Note, every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one... Every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. Okay. 
Looks like you'll need some more help to get through these shields. Some events can provide items. This one is providing you with an Artemis Missile Launcher. Oh, nice. The Artemis was automatically equipped in an available weapon slot. Shooting it expends your missile stock, but pierces through enemy shields. Use the missile to damage the enemy shield system and get your lasers uh, get through it as well. Okay, so here we go. Artemis. I have to wait for it to charge, right? Here we go. Boom! Direct hit! Lasers! Do it again. Or should I cause other problems? Oh, yes! That was awesome. I'm so good at this game. You destroyed the pirate ship. As salvage, you gain from the left to right some fuel, missiles, scrap, and another weapon. Note the reward resource icons correspond to your reserves along the top of the screen. This is throwing a lot at me. Okay, that, that, and then the halberd beam. You'll notice as, I didn't notice. They're, they're just saying I will notice these things. I'm not gonna notice these things. You'll notice as enemy systems are damaged or destroyed, their icons turn orange or red respectfully, respectively. Repeatedly attacking a red system will do no additional damage to the system, but will still damage the enemy's hull Reduce their hull to zero and they explode. If you need a reminder of what each enemy system icon stands for, you can mouse over the green symbols along the bottom of the target box. Choose your targets wisely, though weapons and shields often make good choices. Now defeat the pirate. All right. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there is no more room in the respective system. Left click on the ship's info button so we can equip your new weapon. Okay. Click and drag your new halberd beam over to the Artemis and swap them. I like the Artemis. Slow but reliably powerful standard beam. Requires three power though. Okay. Oops, your weapon system max power two is not upgraded enough to support my new weapon. Open the ship screen so you can fix this. All right, this is the upgrade screen. You can see detailed info about your systems and upgrade them by spending scrap. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything fully back. You know what? This reminds me of an old board game. You guys are bringing me back to my teenage years now. What game, what game was like this? Like it was very, very detailed. I think it was based on like Star Trek stuff. <laughs> was it FTL? No, it wasn't FTL. Uh... <laughs> My friend, uh, Rich Berlue used to play this all the time. And I remember him trying to teach me one day and my eyes glazed over. Was it Starfleet Battles? It might be Starfleet Battles. Yeah, it was back when I was a teenager. It could have been Starfleet Battles. It might have been. But it was very complicated like this. All right, so this is the upgrade screen. You can see detailed info about your systems and upgrade them by spending scrap. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything i am going to fail at this game so hard all right um reactor nine power bars accept continue oh this is what we want weapon control accept Why can't I add more power? Now you need to power. Now you now power your new weapon. You might need to power down your other weapon. Oh, power down. Aha! There we go. 
If your weapon is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered, right to left. Okay. You can rearrange your weapons by clicking and dragging them. Okay. Got it. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Oh, God. Yeah. Continue. All right. New game. <laughs> I'm putting this down to easy. <laughs> I'm putting this way down to easy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Only thing that a little glossed over it is having crew members and stations is pretty important. You can't unlock things on easy? Really? Increase scrap rewards and easier enemy generation. I don't care. I have to, I don't care about unlocking things. Advanced edition content. New weapons, alien races, and more recommended for experienced players. All right, we'll leave that off. Layout, showrooms. This is the ship list. Here you can get a summary of all achievements. Oh, okay, so you unlock different ships. All right. To unlock a new ship, you have two options. Find and complete a unique quest within the game world. These will often start in the home world sectors. Alternatively, beat the game with the previous ship in the list. Okay. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ships. Okay. Rename. Where's my crew? Oh. Oh, cool. All right, so Helvetica. I spelled that wrong. Helvetica. Yes. This is already too complicated for you. Me too. That's why I'm. That's why I'm wasting time uh, naming my characters. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't do the whole name. Helvetic. Helvetic. I'm gonna die. Yes, I'm putting you on the ship. Yeah. Okay. And we'll put, uh... We'll put Evil Twin Link in here, too. He'll die, too. Yeah, all three of us. Rename. The Otter Tail. That's it. The SS Otter Tail. All right. I got weapons. Start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Breaches. If a room with a breach has no oxygen, try opening all the doors surrounding it to make it less hazardous. Oh my god. Alright, so Helvetica is driving. Piloting. Evil Twin Link is standing there with a not so bright look on his face. I'm the engineer. Uh. Jump is ready. Is this. Paused. Okay. <laughs> what do I do? I have. They didn't tell me how to play? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, jump? We're trying to exit here? Okay, go there. Power my weapons? Your ship is flooded with ad advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive at the beacon. You arbitrarily pick one to examine in detail. Uh, this one! Alright, so I can trade nine of these things, but I lose two joysticks. Nine of these things is what? 
Drones? I lose two drones. Nine fuel for two drones. Deal. I don't even know what drones do. So I, how can I miss it? It's powering up. Okay. Should I jump to the next one? I can power all my weapons. Oh, here we go. Weapons powered. What did I just do? Oh, I added. I added power to my reactor. Okay. That seems all right. All right, everyone doing good so far? I think we're doing good. Jump. See, they're gonna expect me to go right for the exit, but I'm gonna go up this way. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you in your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. This is the Otter Tail Rebel Ship. Please give us your goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. Fire. Fire missiles. Target their engineering. Shoot. Shoot them. There we go. Shoot him again. What is this little thing? Can I shoot that? That's a drone. Is that their drone? The ship was apparently transporting weaponry. However, nothing seems to survive the battle. Yes, we decimated them. Okay. I got uh, 24 of these things. What are those things? I have no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Scrap. We got scrap. Bad guy drone, huh? Repeatedly attacks your ship can be shut down by damaging the enemy's drone ship drone. Oh, okay. They just annoy you though. Okay. <clears throat> At first. It appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind a planet and hails you. Ah, 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 I am the Dread Pirate Tuco. Prepare to die. You don't mess around with Tuco if you ever watched uh, Breaking Bad. I guess I should shoot them. Um, let me shoot their shields. Now, can I have the lasers going at the same time? Targeting something else? Yes. They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. Okay. So what do we get? Five, two and 14. Okay, I accept. And then I destroy their ship. What happens if you lie? Yeah, remember I have limited missiles. That's why I just got more. What if you lie? Can I not lie? Oh, you can't. You're bound by game logic. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go here. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. Attack the automated ship to get to there to get to the sensor station. Avoid provoking the ship. Hmm. Auto assault. 
I'm gonna avoid this one. I know, that was boring. But I feel like I had to do that. The beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. What? Are you crazy? I have to get out of here. Did I just power that down? I didn't mean to. Burst laser. Their shields are a one. Will I be able to get through that? missing don't miss people you make me mad oh please don't kill us we'll give you everything we have okay all right we're gonna get out of here charging the ftl solar flail Im imminent let's go jump get me out of there Holy crap. Your scans reveal an ore refinery in several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. That's just a break. I get a break. Now, should I be like... Up upgrading my stuff with this scrap? Shields. Better shields, but it takes more power now, right? Require system upgrade. Oh, okay. Captain Jean Luc Bagard. Yes. Life forms. I'm scanning for life forms. La 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 life. I can go to the store. This is the exit beacon. Go here to travel to the next se sector. Let's go to the store. There is only one other ship at the beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Oh, wow. Okay, so fix. Fix all. All right, I fixed all. My current hull is better. Um, And I can buy, like, these things. Fuel. buy some fuel jump it needs two bars per shield point okay you've arrived at the long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged you can jump to the next sector you come across an asteroid mining colony they message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives has run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. Give them the requested five missiles. Give them 15 missiles to climb. I'm going to do this one. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our mines isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. Oh, come on. This one. Five. They give me some scrap in exchange? That wasn't worth it. All right. Rebels are about to get to gain control of this beacon. How do I get out of here? Next sector. Get me out of here. Zoltan or rock controlled? Zoltan, of course. Shoot the missile anyway. That should have been an option. The Zoltan patrol the bo their borders, but they let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Yeah, exactly. All right, how we doing? 
So if I, I can't spend 30 on this yet. My current distress beacon. Someone might need help. All right, I'll go help him. Your jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you. Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Interfere and save the Mantis ship. Interfere and help the Zoltan ship. Don't interfere. I don't know. I have no idea if the Zoltan are good or the Mantis is good or what. I'm going to interfere and help the Zoltan ship. You overtake the Zoltan and catch up with the Mantis ship in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. Oh, I'm going to be pelted by asteroids. Uh, I'm going to try to disable their propulsion system. Shoot! All right, we're gonna need a missile too. Come on! Boom! As you're salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage you get set off before they stop you for questioning. <laughs> All right. Get out of there. What, what's going on here? Med Bay. Heals crew members off. Cannot heal crew. Unpowered. All right, so how do I fix that? Anything named Zoltan is probably evil. Isn't Zoltan the name of the machine that makes Tom Hanks... Go back to, or, or big, it makes him big. Evil Twinling, can you go over there? Go fix it. There you go. Unavailable when the ship is in danger. Oh, good, get, get out of here. Jump. No more asteroid field. Oh, is that Zoltar? It might be Zoltar. Maybe. Small rebel ship is docked at a small station. Everything is small about it. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up your small weapons. Okay. I wasn't ready. Evil Twin Link's not finished in there. Oh god, I unpowered my weapons. Go. Uh... I don't know what to shoot. Disable their weapons. It seems like the thing to do. Back to your station, Evil Twin Link. I've got limited missiles, only six left. Stop missing! Please stop missing! Weapons and shields are good bets. There we go. Alright, good. We got two missiles back. I can spend 30 here. There we go. Better shields now. Unvisited location. The nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. Oh. Yeah, 
let's not let's not mess with that it really worries you that bog's at two-third health what do you mean we're doing great we're awesome you jump into a, a debris field those 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 debris fields yeah oh that bog's at two hit thirds health. oh my crew member you jump into a debris field that is used to be a zoltan cruiser unfortunately it's ng escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates they refuse all hails what's wrong with you people hold on can my character like go and get healed at the med place and the evil twin link goes to engineering how did i even get damaged all right um Ah, I am getting healed up. Room was shot when he was in it. Is that what happened? Oh, they're going after my shields. Do I have to give them a target every time or will it auto fire? So what's happening? Am I not able to get through the shields? I took, I gave him one damage for the first time. And I can jump and get out of here if I really wanted to. That drone is shooting down my missiles. How do I stop the drone? Can I shoot the drone? Or do I have to go to this? Destroy this? Ooh. Set face just to maximum power. I don't think they can get through my shields though, right? go for their O2. Make them run out of air. There we go. All right, so repairs I need to make. Are we okay? Wow, we're we're getting uh, low on missiles. And here comes the enemy. So you you can only play around getting a certain number of stuff. Doesn't mention that crew gets skill in the job they do. Ah, so put back on the engines would be good. No, it doesn't mention that, does it? How do you check like what your crew is good at? The beacon is being patrolled by an unmanned scout. A fight is unavoidable. All right, uh, Bog. Bog go here. Evil Twinling go back here. Evil Twinling's a better weapon. Swap. This guy's got no shields, right? Hover over the crew list. Ah, oh, it tells you what you're good at. Oh, okay. So Helveticas look good at piloting. Get out of here. 
Oh, nice. We got the halberd beam. All right, so now we got a third weapon. We can. I can't power that up, can I? Not enough power. I don't know if I did that right. So I'd have to power down. Okay, and I need a second one. Uh, so I can lower my shields and do it. Most beams can't hurt shields, so I'm just saying I shouldn't even worry about the halberd beam then. We'll do the other two. Power these up. Oh, it says FTL is a great title. It's been out a while. Is this a Patreon request? This is a... We did a raffle after my break, Elden. For 10,000 clams. And Helvetica Bold won. And I told him you can choose any game that I own and I'll play it. And he chose FTL. So there we go. That's how that worked. All right. Um... If you're not healing anyone, you can power down the med bay. Oh, that's a good point. So I don't have enough stuff. I'll just power down the oxygen. That's fine, right? Woo! Oh, I'm just kidding. All right. Store. A mantis crew has hunkered down here in the abdomen of a long dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Yes. I will join the space whale. Yes. Fix all. Higher crew. Look at this. Mort Raven engineer. It's unclear if the NG are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it is well known that they make exceptional engineers. Oh, interesting. You can have, like, aliens. Oh, these are the Zoltans. Ah, I'll just fix, I'll just fix my hull. There we go. We got this. Jump to the exit. Oh, notice the cells tab. No, I didn't. I didn't. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up your own repairs. We'll buy some if you have extra. What do you want? Drone parts? Sell three drone parts for 12 scrap. Sure. I don't even know how to use my drones, so that's okay. That works fine. Um, Jump. There's another store here. Next sector. Oh, I don't have a drone system installed. Oh, well, there you go. Should I go to this store with my 14 scrap? Probably not. Let's just go. Next sector. So my goal is to get all the way over here. Pirate controlled. Rock controlled. Let's go for the pirates. I don't know what a rock is. A few Federation-friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector. Be careful. And this is where we die. I don't know what a rock is. You know what I mean. It says it's rock controlled. That's what I don't mean. That's what I don't know. You arrive at a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Give them the fuel. Sure. 
Here's your fuel. Thank you. Here, have this extra scrap as payment. 48? That was great. We don't need fuel. Why would we need fuel? You're going to have to play this tonight, Helvetica. So, Helvetica, you've played this a lot, I assume? All right, we're going to go through the nebula. There's nothing here save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Yep. That sounds like me after the stream. Nothing but gas. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves to attack. Ooh. All right, turn and fight. Space bar. Uh, what is this symbol? Wait, can they transport onto my ship? Yes, teleporter. The enemy uses this to teleport intruders to your ship. Oh, crap. Shoot the teleporter. Oh, God. Evil Twin Link, go. You got this, Evil Twin Link. I have faith in you. I'm trying to take out our shields. You know what? Bog, you're going to go help. All right, let's take out a serious target then. Uh, take out their weapons. Kick that guy's butt. Fight that guy, quick. Nice. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it for useful materials. Nice. What about the guy that was on our ship? Almost killed Evil Twin Link. Now, can I still get hit by asteroids while we're here? Alaska, this was one of the first games you watched on Twitch back in 2012. How funny. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't upgraded my doors so they don't do anything to stop them. So how do I... Uh... Upgrade the doors. I don't even see where to do that kind of stuff. Save my current crew positions. There you go. Return crew to save positions. The wrench icon. It's the ship, but you're in danger. Ah, okay. Another distress beacon. Let's go this way. A small merchant ship messaged you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install weapon to help. Good luck. Okay, breach missiles. I got breach missiles. So this is better than Artemis. Oh, but it takes three to power it up. Ugh. I don't have enough. Sensors. Piloting. Oh, wow. Door systems. Improved doors. Blast doors. Ah, okay. 35 there. Is Bob going in blind or accepting basic tips? <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Tell me. Tell me what you think. 
I will tell you this now. This is not a game you're going to like see a ton on this channel. <laughs> My mind is absolutely swimming <laughs> with all the options here. Um, my recommendation is not to die. Well, so far I've succeeded in that. Where, I only have 115 points. Where would you spend it? Next time someone boards, you can open your doors and vent atmosphere. Helps if you have better doors so you can hide behind them and laugh. <laughs> That's great. Where should I spend my 115? All right, I improved my doors. We'll go for more reactor. Another weapon. Now I can launch my halberd beam. Is halberd beam better than the burst laser? Damage per room hit two. These two is a good combo. Burst laser and halberd beam. Erm says, don't worry, Bogotter. It's like Hades where you might feel like you'll never get through it, but after 50 hours, you've mastered the basics. <laughs> you've watched Star Trek Next Generation. You've got this. That's all you need to know? Okay. You're going to want to pause when the burst laser takes out shields you use the laser okay You find that decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew members aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. It looks like a massive asteroid is in direct collision course with a derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do you take? Take the weapon and spare scrap. Grab the stasis chamber. Grab the stasis chamber. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. The pod appears to be functioning, but you see nothing but shards of crystal inside. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. 19 scrap and augment damaged a stasis pod. Is that in my ship somewhere now? How do I even see that? I thought it was gonna be a new crew member too. The ship button. Oh, I didn't even know I could see people here. Damaged stasis pod. It has no practical function, but perhaps someone can repair it. Ah, okay. I'm gonna need fuel soon, gang. It took you over 50 hours to finally get that quest and finish it, other guy? Oh my God. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. There are, these are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. I don't, so stop bothering me. arrived at the long-range beacon when the ftl drive is charged you can jump to the next sector an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate 
The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Accept the bribe, I get one gas, one missile, and 17 scrap. Now I'm gonna be a hero. hero. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons on your ship. Oh, good. And that was a small bribe. We're not cheap. That's true. Fine! Our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Accept the more generous bribe and then leave. What is this beam doing? I feel like I don't know how to use the beam. <laughs> Drag it to what I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit this. Oh. Oh, okay. That was not great. There we go. They're dead. So you pause when you see the shields go down, and then you left click and drag. But shields need to be down, hence the pausing. Ah, okay. So that brief, like, little window. You want to hit as many rooms as possible with beam weapons. Ah, okay. Hey, Electric Messiah, what's up? Why you play this? We did a raffle. And Helvetica Bold won the raffle and got to choose any game for me to play. And I've never played this, so. There you go. The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. 48, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Oh, I can get the drone control, crew teleporter, Um, fire bombs, Pegasus missiles. I need fuel, right? I can't get the drone control though. I can sell. I can sell this for 15, 32. Drag equipment or augmentations into this box to sell them. I don't know what I'm doing. I got that. Okay, 